Hello there, it's Stuart Davison here, your friendly QS. I thought I'd do a quick video just before I go off to the weekend and see my lovely fiance, just about to drive over there now. Now this week, I've been thinking a lot about cash flow and construction and thinking a lot about the messages that I've had from the supply chain, subcontractors, uh, towels of not getting paid in time, late payments, delay and disruption, uh, you know, some say I'm being screwed over. And in fact, there are some really bad tales of uh, subcontractors nearly going out of business. And it's a really sorry tale. And it's been the same for years and years in construction. And you know, I've got a mission to try and change this. It's been on my mind for a long time as a quantity surveyor. And uh, we're fragmented. We're not working together. Uh, you know, and I'm been thinking, well, why is it? You know, what's a, what's the root cause of all this? And you know, it kind of, when I think about it, it kind of gets back to cash flow. So everyone's trying to manage their cash flow. So developers are managing the cash flow, and even lenders, banks. You know, obviously they have a pool of money. They have to decide how they're going to lend that the cash flow. They have to look at their uh, risk profile, and uh, particularly tier ones as well you know uh, they get a bad reputation for late payments delaying payments but you know yes i think sometimes they do there is a little bit of uh bashing subby bashing that goes on but you know i think sometimes it's around they're trying to manage their own cash flow so they've got cash flow issues cash is trying to flow from the top it's not flowing from the top then the thing is they've got operational cash flow to manage and they've got project manage, uh, uh, cash flow to manage. And quite often, there's a lot of tier ones are in a position where they're trying to uh, manage their operational cash flow and it's impacting on their individual project cash flow. So they're in the position where they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Now, there's a term that is not my term. It was it's kind of coined a phrase from uh, Russell, Professor Russell Kenley, book he wrote some time, uh, uh, probably about a decade or so ago now, but cash farming. Now you can do good cash farming, there's good cash farming and bad cash farming. And that is where in construction, the uh, tier ones are trying to manage their cash flow between operational cash flow and, and project cash flow. That's fine when it's all synchronizing, but if something goes wrong on a project and there's delays or there's a bottleneck somewhere or there's a dispute, then that can unravel quite quickly. And as we've seen with companies like Carillion, you know, where there's Robin to Peter to pay Paul, and sometimes you can have a problem in the system, you don't know it until it all kind of comes to a head and then the dominoes just fall down, bang, 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 like that. And uh, so this is an area that I've been looking at. One of the key issues around this then construction is that it operates on a very low uh, working capital basis. And this is the thing to sort out. And I realised that really we don't join up the supply chain with the tier ones, with the lenders, with the banks. Now, I've been looking at systems over the last year or so, and there are some that have been developed that link up banks, link up supply chain, link up tier ones, regarding to cash flow management, transparency, and a way in which we can, we can follow the cash. And I've looked at a couple of systems, and you know, you can manage, you can look at the health of a project, health of the business by the way that you predicted the cash to flow. And I've seen some systems that do this. I'm working on one at the moment that I'm looking to, uh, to demonstrate and to, um, to pilot very soon. And what that does, it means that uh, the responsibility for making payments doesn't necessarily need to be with a tier one or a supply chain. They can issue uh, a DPO, which is a, a digital payment obligation, or promise to pay. Everything's done in the same way, the certificates are raised, but the payments are done directly by the funder of the project or the bank uh, can pay them. So, so that deals with the uh, working cash flow issue, uh, working capital, uh, um, uh, working capital allowances or levels and it takes responsibility away from a main contractor to rob peter to pay paul and also it gives comfort to the client the developer in that he knows his money is in his project it's not gone somewhere else which is a big big risk reduction and also there's opportunities for banks to be involved to earn more uh, 
and to, to get more business. There's opportunity for tier ones to get more business through developers that are running this, if they're operating this system. And also there's opportunities for the suppliers and subcontractors to get paid on time uh, without the delay due to everyone trying to juggle their cash flow. And what's more than that for the economy is that the money starts flying quicker and more wealth is created and then hopefully construction can start punching uh, at its weight or above its weight in regard to its contribution to world, uh, world sorry, wealth creation within the country. So that's um, what I've been thinking about this week. And it's food for thought. It's something that's coming. I think things are gonna change. I think it's gonna be a disruptor. I think it's gonna change the culture within construction. So watch this space this year. It's something I'm getting uh, involved in. I'm very interested in. I think it helps each of the parties, the three key uh, parties to construction, which is the, uh, well, four actually. So it's the, the lender, the banks, the developer, the main contractor, the tier one, tier one and the supply chain. And it helps suppliers. Uh, this would help suppliers no, no end. So this is Stuart Davidson. Hope you enjoyed that message. Hope it was useful to you. This is Stuart Davidson signing off. And um, I'm off going off to the weekend. Cheers.